the women went to the tomb that Sunday morning, expecting to find a body they would prepare for burial. They found joy instead. He was risen. He had risen indeed. The word spread. Peter and John raced to see if it was really true, if the testimony of the two Marys could be believed. They too came to an empty tomb, but even then they didn't fully understand. Later, two of his disciples on their way to the village of Emmaus were joined by Jesus. At first they didn't recognize him. He entered the conversation and they shared their confusion over the events that had just taken place. Then Jesus interpreted the scriptures to them about why it was necessary for the Messiah to suffer. Even though his words burned in their hearts, they still didn't understand. Then he sat with them for a meal. He took bread, blessed it, and gave it to them. It was only then that they understood the meaning of the bread broken by Jesus just days before. Their eyes were opened and Jesus, having accomplished his purpose, vanished. What he explained to them then is still true today. His body was broken for us, but his brokenness can only have full meaning when viewed alongside an empty tomb. The resurrection restored his broken body and gave us full access into this promise. He came that we might have life and have it in abundance. On this Resurrection Sunday morning, my prayer is that the next time you take the bread and the cup, you will more deeply understand his sacrifice for you. He is risen. He is risen indeed.